I'm going to do a tag. Um, but of course I got my windows all out of order now, so I don't remember. It's the star tag that people did about book stars. Um, in one of my recent things, I made a joke about how I don't do stars. And, and Raynor Reed stuff uh, also doesn't do stars. She left a nice comment on, on that video, which was about Captain Blood. I'll put up a link to that. Um, I've watched a bunch of these star videos. What's the title? What's the actual title of the tag here? Uh, how do we rate our books book tag? So I, the one that got me thinking about it a lot was the Grape Jelly Library, uh, her, her version of it. Um, this tag was created by Novell Novels, Emily at Novell Novels. A ton of people have done this, so I'm not, probably not going to tag anybody. Um, initially, I passed over it because I thought, well, I don't do tag uh, stars, what do I have to say about it? But actually, I have a lot to say about stars because my opinion of them has changed over the years. Okay, here are the prompts. Prompt number one, how often do you DNF or what makes you DNF? Do not finish, which I guess everybody knows. And I've thought about this. I used to do it quite a bit. I haven't been doing it very much at all. I don't know if it's I'm better at picking things I want to read. Uh, I really don't consider it do not finish if, for example, I just read the first chapter. I just check it out and think about what I want to read it or not. It's um, I, I don't read things to the end that I don't like. So maybe just my taste is really bad now and I just like everything or... I don't know. I don't do it very much. I haven't hardly done it at all this year. But I think it's because I count... I, I bail very, very early. If I'm just reading the first couple pages of a book and decide... For example, Kelly recently read uh, uh, H for Hawk and... Um, Kelly had books I'm not reading, and that was a book I had bailed on really early, too. As soon as I read it a few years ago, I still remember. I don't remember why, though. I'm, I read, like, the first three or four pages, and go, oh, this is not for me. This is not what I wanted at all out of a book like this. So, But again, I don't really call that a did not finish, because it's almost a barely started, and I'm just sort of... Uh, anyway... So that's the first one. Do you rate your books one star? Never. <clears throat> I never rate anything one star because that's uh, really a that's that's a that's a that's a ding on me. If I well, one of my rules also is I would never rate anything if I didn't finish it. I would never even if, even if I think it's bad if I didn't have the if I didn't give it the time to truly finish the whole thing, I'm not going to rate it. I'm not going to give it a rating because I don't think that's fair to the author. So if I rated a book one star, it would mean I respected my own time so little that I spent um, you know, hours and hours and hours to read a two, three, four hundred, five hundred page book that I didn't like. So that would be a one star against me. So I don't rate books one star because I don't rate books that I do not finish. What is a two star book to you? Uh, that would be another bad book. This is why I don't like stars anymore. And if I were, you know, when I inherit um, Amazon, which I expect to do any day, it's a long story, I'm going to get rid of the stars completely. I hate them. I hate stars. And used to be on Amazon, used to have, I believe, at least I remember that, you used to have to write a review and you could put stars on your review. Now you can just put stars. So you see all kinds of wonderful uh, reviews on Amazon like, you know, I ordered this for my husband's birthday and it came the day after, one star. You know, uh, five stars, this, this book arrived on time and in good condition. You know, two stars for King Lear because uh, I, I wanted the Penguin edition and I got the Signet edition from this used seller. You know, people don't understand how to use this. They don't understand rating the shipping versus rating the, the book. They think, you know, so... And when you and when you open a page and you see something like uh, you see a book that has uh, I don't know 1,500 reviews or something and it's got a two or a three stars on it, that just looks 
bad. The book might be good. The book might be half people who rated it one star because they don't like the politics or the religion or the lack of religion or something else about the author. So they'll one star it, you know, and you don't have to uh, even read the books. You know, it's called review bombing. Um, to, to rate something one star, or they might just be five star reviews um, because they're fans of, you know, some influencer's uh, channel or something, you know, so when his book comes out, he gets all his, his fans to to rate his four hour uh, work week book five stars, you know, you know, they just don't mean, they're not subtle, they're not intelligent, they're just marketing crap. So that's why I hate them. I think uh, if people had to write reviews, a lot of times you read a, a review of a book and it sounds perfectly great, but that particular reviewer decided that they should take off two stars for something or a star and a half for, for typos or, 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 or because it, the book um, has a sequel and, or they thought it was too expensive or it was too short. That's, that's a big thing that people don't, really don't like about books. They're, they like a book and they think it was too short. So when you look at a page and it's got some kind of mediocre star thing because the law of averages, it just goes down to, um, you know, a book could be great, but, but the stars don't mean what they mean. Because three should be good, objectively, right? But if you look at something that's got two and a half or three star average book, book on Amazon or in Goodreads, you're going to think, yeah, well, there's plenty of books that are, have got four and a half stars. You know, and a book has to be perfect to get five stars. And then somebody doesn't like it, that brings it down. So it's all, it's all debased. That's my opinion. Um, okay, so is a three star book a good book to you? Uh, Objectively, three stars would be good, right? Three out of five, but it's not because it looks like it's halfway down the scale. Three stars looks like five out of ten. It's half. You know, we don't rate people that way anymore, but fortunately, most of us don't. Most of us who are decent and have empathy don't rate people's looks that way anymore. But if you think of someone being a five as average, that's not average. So everybody's a nine or a ten. And books that are worth reading are a four or a five to me. Uh, what does four stars mean to you? It means it's a good book. I know four stars are supposed to mean it's above average book, but again, the, the way the scale goes, the way you just look at it objectively, four means good, not above average. Four is average. Do you ever do half star ratings? You know, I... If you do your taxes in the United States, I don't know how it works in other uh, people's systems. If you have a, a little fee or something that's four dollars and fifty-one cents that you have to type in there, and the the uh, the tax software, the IRS software, will round it up to five. If you have a, a little payment of four dollars and forty-nine cents, it will round it down to four. So there are no halves. There, there are no fragments of stars. It's a four or it's a five. People want to give four and a half because they want to save five for the most perfect book that they're waiting to read someday. There's no half stars. Don't do that. Uh, okay, do you rate books five stars often? What do, you, what do five star books do to make them, to make, uh, do you rate five, do you rate books five stars often? What do five-star books do to make them rate that high? I'll tell you what they do for me. A five-star book is a book you want other people to read. If you have a book that you like and you want someone else to read that book, to me, that's a five-star book. Not like a book like, yeah, you should read it if you want, or, or no, don't bother. It's any book that you think is good enough that you would be pleased if another person took your recommendation to read it. That's what makes them rate that high. There's no limit. You know, you, there, you don't have a credit card balance of how, few, how many five-star uh, ratings you can give or how many one-star ratings. It's not an even distribution. Okay. Has your rating of books changed over the years? Yes. I, I hate it and I don't do it and I'm against it. Um, where do you record your ratings of your books? I don't anymore. I don't uh, like Goodreads. 
It's irritated me for a lot of reasons. You know, again, when I inherit um, Amazon, I'm going to shutter Goodreads. I'm sorry to have to tell you all this, but there's just there will be no Goodreads. It's annoying, uh, annoying, annoying sight. Um, but I guess this is grumpy enough for me to finish on. Uh, I'm not going to tag anybody. I think everybody's done this. I just went to search for it to to see who was on here, and there's like a hundred that of of people that I, I don't want to. I don't want to miss. So I'll assume if you wanted, if you haven't heard of it and you want to do it, go ahead and do it.